The views presented in this program are not meant to express the specific views of the Lathea Bible Fellowship. You are listening to the Vigilance Radio Network. All right. <laughs> All right. Hello, guys. Good morning. Do we know what day of the week it is today? Monday. No, it's not Monday. Saturday. No. Sophia? Friday. 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 Yeah, today's Friday. Friday. So we have our Friday special, and today it is me, and I will be reading a couple stories. So, yeah, so there's a few rules with story time. Um, Sophia, can you say one of the rules loudly? No? Okay, so during story time, we want to stay seated. And if we have a question, we raise our hand. Like yep. And if you're not here in the audience and you're at home watching and you have a question or you want to respond, then have your parent help you write it on the video that you're watching. Um, and just a few questions. If you're here, please raise your hand if you want to talk. But. Did everyone watch Pastor Adam's Bible story? Yeah. 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 So thumbs up down below or comment if you guys watched it and make sure to share your the picture that you drew. He challenged everyone to draw a picture. And did everyone do Jen's challenge of collecting three leaves, three different leaves? Yeah. No. What? Some of you didn't do it? Okay, I if you did. haven't done it yet, it's not too late. And the uh, water's super nice. I mean, I did. Remember, Only raise I, your hand. Raise your I hand did. if you want to talk. Joseph? Only I did. You did? No, I did. All of I did. Okay, what about you guys at home? Did you guys do it? Comment down below if you did it. If you did Jen's leaf challenge. Okay. I um, I think the last thing I want to say is before we were live, we all went and set our favorite color. All the kids here so I want you guys to comment your favorite color too down below and if you comment down there then maybe I'll do a shout out on the show of your favorite color okay so we will get started what is the sound now okay remember raise your hand if you have a question Joseph What's the sound now? oh a shout a shout out yeah. so if they comment on the video I'm going to say, I'm going to say, oh, Bruce's favorite color is this, once he tells me. Yeah. Okay, so the first story we're going to read is called My Dream Dog, and it is by Arthur Howard. Okay, so who at home that's watching, who has a dog? Comment down below your dog's name. Does anyone have a dog here? Raise your hand if you have a dog here. Uh, Sophia. We have the dog. Yeah, his name's Alfred, and he's right here with us, sleeping, maybe listening to the story, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here, here's my dog, Scooter. His dog's name is Scooter. I know a lot about him. There's Scooter, he has a little frisbee. I know what makes his him wag his tail, his bone, treats, people food, his new squeaky toy, and his pals, Betty and Bruno. What's your again? Betty and Bruno. And I know what makes him growl. Motorcycles, Aunt Gladys and her cats. And any dog that gets near one of his bones, fleas, escalators, Heidi, the German Shepherd. Oh, so he's scared of loud sounds. That's like Alfred here. He's scared of some loud sounds. <laughs> and I know every word that he understands. Stay, sit, shake, and dinner time. I know this means he's thirsty. Drinking out of a toilet. Yeah. Oh, should your dog do that? No. No. Me. Probably not. Me. 
And this means that he's scared. Oh, he's hiding in the in the couch in the chair. Raise your hand if you want to talk. Joseph? He's scared when the wind thunder goes. Yeah, and lightning light thunder. Yeah. Yeah. Oliver? And lightning. Oliver? Oh, and lightning, yep. What? This means he wants to play. Shh, gotta be quiet so everyone can hear the story. Quiet, okay. This also means he wants to play. Oh, look, he's got his butt up in there and he's wagging his tail. I do that. Yeah. This means he wants to play right after he's finished playing. So he just wants to keep playing and playing and playing. I know my dog Scooter so well. I can even tell when he's dreaming. What I don't know is what he's dreaming about. My mom says he dreams about food. My dad says he dreams about riding in the car. My brother says Scooter dreams about chasing things. Oh my goodness. Oh, please be quiet. Raise your hand if you want to talk. Remember, look, he's chasing squirrels and rabbits and the mailman. Wow, what a naughty dog. Raise your hand. And turtles. Oliver? And a turtle. Mm-hmm. What? My friend Franklin says Scooter dreams about going to school. And he rose he raises his hand, he says, I ate my homework. That's what Scooter said. <laughs> Julie Potts, the smartest girl in my class, said he, his dreams are filled with sounds we can't hear and smells we can't smell, and it's always snowing in his dreams because dogs are really wolves. Hmm. And wolves love snow. You guys like snow? Yeah. Speaking of snow, I'm gonna go in snow. Speaking <laughs> yeah. of in snow, we all and me eat snow. Oh, you guys ate snow. Speaking, yeah, Speaking we of snow, eat white yeah. snow. Okay. Not, not that. Let's snow. keep reading the story, okay? Then I asked Grandpa, and he said maybe Scooter dreams about you. I never thought of that. But I know a lot about Scooter, and I think it might be true. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think that your dog dreams about? If you're at home, then comment. It if about you're here, its mom. raise your hand. Joseph? It dreams about its mom. You think Alfred dreams about his mom? Yeah, it wants his mom, so it yeah. dreams about him. Maybe. Oliver? He dreams about snow. You think Alfred dreams about snow? What about you, Milo? What do you think Alfred uh, dreams about? Uh, no. Snow? Yeah? I no. Yeah, I'm pod. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Sophia? I don't really know. I don't even know if he dreams, honestly. You don't know if he dreams? Yeah. All right, Jasmine has something for us. Some comments to read. Oh, we have some comments. Okay. Oh, want to read them. Yeah, come on over, girl. Here's the computer. Okay. The comments. So know. we have, we'll take a little comment break here. Parker says his favorite color is gold. Ooh, how fancy. Open. And we have Madeline and Aiden. So Madeline's favorite color is teal. And Aiden's favorite color is red. Okay, whoops. I don't know how to use your computer. <laughs> and Jackson's favorite color is blue. Yep, that's one of my favorite colors, blue. And Bruce. Also, that's one of my favorite colors. Also, oh, it's this... not your turn. It's not your turn. And Bruce's favorite color is yellow. Let's see, what else? Hold on guys, bear with me. Oh, okay. Parker and Jackson have a dog named Luke. That's fun. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know how to scroll on this thing. I'm having a hard time. And, oh, Bruce thinks that Agnes dreams about water. <laughs> so Bruce has a dog named 
Agnes, that's how you say her name, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And, oh, Eliana has a dog named Izzy. Who's Izzy? And dog. I think we got everyone. Oh, <laughs> yep. Uh, Jackson and Parker's dog is named after Skywalker. Oh, and no. <laughs> Thank you, Jasmine. And, and, uh. Oh, did you raise your I'm, hand? Did you oh. raise your hand? Did I call on you? No. Joseph. And Chelsea. Chelsea? I didn't see anything from Chelsea. But maybe later. This is for you for later. Oh, okay. All right. What about Angel? Um, I didn't see anything about Angel. But maybe later we'll see. We'll check back in, okay? So, now we're going to read oh, our... Oh, Chelsea. Oh, remember, raise your hand, guys. Um, okay, we're going to read our next story. Is everybody ready? Is everybody sitting down and paying attention and being quiet? Yeah. Everybody at home? Okay, here we go. The Little Green Hen by Allison Murray. Little Green Hen. Hmm. You know what? I need to take a drink of water. Everybody take a drink of water. All right. Once on top of a hill grew a beautiful, old and very fruitful apple tree. And in the hollow of its trunk lived a little green hen. Oh, there she is right there. Oh, you need to raise your hand. Joseph. It's a big trunk. Yeah, it's very big, huh? What? The little green hen looked after the apple tree. She pruned the dead branches. She kept the pests under control. And she sowed the apple seeds so more trees and more apples what, would grow. Yeah, what does oh, that mean? raise your hand. What does that mean? Oliver. Um, and she even pooped out this. She ate the seeds so the tree can grow. Yeah, she ate the seeds and then they came out and then it planted in here and so more apple trees are growing. Oh. But as weeks went by, the seeds that she had planted began to grow. The little green hen realized that she needed help to look after her new orchard. Oh no. Who would like to help me tend the apple trees? Asked the little green hen. The branches need pruning. Not I, said Peacock. He was far too busy pruning himself. <laughs> I will, said Dog, who loves sticks. Will help me keep the pesky bugs from eating all the leaves, said Little Green Hen. Not I, said Fox, who was much more interested in eating Little Green Hen. <gasps> oh no. I will, said the teensy brown sparrow, who was partial to pesky bugs. And who will help me sow the apple seeds? Not I, said the fat ginger cat, who was far too busy lounging on a log in the sun. I will, said Squirrel, who is very good at burying things where no one could find them. Oh, so she has some helpers and then some people that don't want to help. Who's going to help her? Raise your hand. Sophia. Um, the dog is. The dog's going to help her. And who Sophia else? Sophia the fox. Oliver, who else is going to help? Um... The squirrel is. The squirrel. Milo, who else is going to help her? Uh, uh, what? Remember the little bird, the little sparrow. Also, that, that, the fox, you will find out and see. <laughs> okay. So, the new friends helped the little green hen tend to the orchard. And the orchard shared its bounty with them through spring, summer, and fall. Wow. How beautiful. Then down came the rain. It rained for days and weeks and more. The new friends stayed warm and dry in the old apple tree. There they are. And then the Raise your hand. Joseph. 
And then all the people are standing in the apple swamp. Yeah, they're all hanging out in the apple tree together. Yeah. Because it's cold and rainy outside. And but Peacock couldn't stay in his hydrangea bush. The pond was overflowing. And Fox couldn't stay in the den, which was filling up with water. Luckily, there was just enough room for them all on Cat's log. Oh, the cat looks so sad and cold. Which drifted away across the flood water until... <gasps> Look, it's the old apple tree, cried Cat. Maybe Little Green Hen will help us. Quickly paddle. So they're paddling over there to the apple tree to see if Hen will help them. What do you think? Is Hen going to help them? Yeah. You guys think so? Yeah. Let's see. It was crowded inside the old apple tree, but little Hen welcomed the newcomers warmly. Together, they waited for the rain to stop. Oh, she did. It was very nice. Sophia? That's not actually how the old story goes. Though. I know, this is, this is a new little Hen story, huh? Yeah. Eventually, the sun came out and the flood water began to disappear. The little green hen stepped out of the apple tree. Who will help me clean up this mess? She said to no one in particular. We will, said dog, squirrel, and sparrow. See? And so will we, See? said fox, cat, and peacock. The little green hen had never had so many enthusiastic helpers. Oh, they're so excited to help her. Joseph, did you have something you wanted to say? So, you find it out, the fox wanted to help, but it, but it also wanted to eat the, the, that. The hen? Yeah, yeah. but it's using not to. Yep. He, the fox is just the hen. <laughs> Time passed and the seedlings grew into a beautiful orchard. The rain still came, but the thirsty young tree roots soaked up the water and floods were rare. The little green hen and her friends looked after the orchard and the orchard looked after them. The flood and shelter it provided were more than enough for everyone. All right, I want to know what everyone who is watching thought of this book. Comment down below what I you thought. I didn't watch anything. Um, what did you say, Joseph? I didn't watch anything. Well, there's, we have a bunch of friends that are watching, too. <laughs> what do you guys think of Little Hen? And well, I watched it. And I think it would be fun to comment down below how you help out, like how you help your friends or how you helped your parents. And I'm losing my audience here. Kids, can you guys all come back over here and sit down? You gotta be a good example. Milo, come sit down. All right, did you guys like those stories? Yeah, yeah. You're fine. They were fine. Um, fine. <laughs> All right, it looks like we have some more things to read. Do you guys want to hear from our friends? Yeah. Okay, let's look here what we have. So we read everyone's favorite color, and we read about people's dogs. Oh, okay, we have some more. So remember you guys want to know about Josie and Angel? So they have a pit bull named Cookie. And What's a pit bull? A pit bull? It's a type of dog. Um, I don't know how to explain it beyond that. We can look up pictures later if you want. Um, Josie says she likes the stories, and Angel said it's good. And, oh, Aiden's favorite book was the Dream Dog book, so Aiden really liked this book. <laughs> yeah. Why? I don't know which one I liked better. I don't like the green hen. You don't like the green hen, Oliver? I did like the green hen. All right, I think I got I everyone's like comment. Okay, can you please be quiet? Ah, okay, thank you. I think I got everyone's comments, and 
Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us for story time on our Friday special. Um, I don't know what next Friday is going to be, but look forward to it and it should be something exciting. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Woohoo! All right, bye guys. Everybody bye. wave. Wave, say bye. Bye, friends. Bye. Thank you. Um, bye. The views presented in this program are not meant to express the specific views of the Lake Bible Fellowship. You are listening to the Vigilance Radio Network.